Greetings. Earlier you saw me making a four lamp F8 T5 wraparound using those two rapid start T5 valves. And here is the finished product. I made the diffuser and the end plates. Let's watch this. the finished product start up. You can sort of see the inner and outer tubes start up at different times. Sometimes it'll do that, sometimes it'll all start at the same time because I have one ballast wired to the inner tubes, one ballast to the outer tubes. And the diffuser was made from a Plasco Light Prisma grid that was uh, bent with a wine heater and cut to size, laid out, and the end plates were made from ducting sheet metal. Let's watch another startup in the diffuser. This time they all started at once. Maybe it'll be easier if we take this off. And you can sort of see... Yep, now the inner tubes took a little longer. You can see I used uh, wing nuts to hold it on. There's screws in the back holding the wing nuts as well as hooks. And the prototype diffuser was uh, made out of Prismatic 12 that was slightly beat up. As you can see, there's some chips missing and it's a bit short. But it did work. And now I have the Prisma Grid version, which is not something you normally see, as well as a Prismatic 12 version, which admittedly also looks cool, though it's something you'd probably see more often in a replacement settings. I didn't have any of the original diffuser that the 4-foot uh, one and the one in the closet were made out of, but the housing came from that very same wraparound, in case you couldn't tell. Anyways, we're going to set this diffuser back on. This one is... Uh, I made it a lift and shift style, even though the original ones had latches. There was nowhere to latch it this time. So, we did the lift and shift variety as seen on most wraparounds today. And we got time for one more startup, so enjoy.